Hi, my name is Haley Conley, and this is my testimony. Um, I want to start with um, when I was born. I was born um, with a disability called um, spina bifida, where it affects your spine. So um, I've had to deal with a lot of medical um, things throughout my life and um, surgeries and procedures. Um, but by the grace of God, I've gone through a lot. And um, I also want to start with saying, uh, just starting how I came about to know Jesus. Um, both my parents are, are Christian, and um, I just uh, remember the moment that um, I remember my mom taking me to church, and I just felt this um, the Holy Spirit come upon me. I felt this feeling of happiness and joy that I've never felt in my entire life from from my being, like from my heart and my soul. Um, and I knew right then and there that. That was Jesus, and so I believe like that was that moment where I started to have a relationship with Him. Um, and so um, I had a pretty great started out with a great household. Um, my dad actually built a house for me and my family from the ground up, and uh, he wanted us to live there together and uh, to grow up there as a family. Unfortunately, they they got divorced, and it was it was an ugly divorce. Um, and in that time. My siblings and I uh, lived with our mother, and he was um, out of the picture. He had he left, and so um, during that time, uh, our mom had an addiction problem with um, some pills, and so because of that, she um, was very abusive, um, physically, um, verbally neg neglectful, um, and so uh, my siblings and I had to endure that type of environment for a long time. Um, and for about three years, I believe. And so I just remember, you know, praying. We used to have this uh, picture in the hallway of, of Jesus, you know, like knocking on the door. And that was my safe zone right there. You know, I'd pray every night on my knees, um, just praying that my dad would come back and praying that me and my siblings would be um, in a healthier environment and out of the toxic household. Because when you're in a toxic household, um, you, you know, you see things as well, like spiritually, it, it's unhealthy um, to a point, you know, you, it just, it's just not healthy, you know. Um, my mother, she was also very depressed a lot, so she wouldn't get out of bed most of the time. Um, and she wouldn't cook much as often. Um, we basically lived on frozen foods. We got our food mostly from school. And I was in and out of school. Um, I did have to have a lot of surgeries and things like that. So um, most of the time I I um, missed a lot of my education actually. So I was really um, behind with my siblings. And I had to do a lot of catching up. Oh man, it took a long time. I was in special educational classroom. Um, and I remember, you know, this is where the another time that the Lord has really helped me. Uh, when I, a um, homeschool teacher came to teach me, he taught me how to read for the first time at like nine years old, nine, ten years old. I didn't even know how to read. Um, he uh, he helped me a lot in, in that area of my life. School was like a safe haven when I did have it for me. Um, most of the time, you know, like police and um, my neighbors would complain about the household and the reason why I bring up a lot of people that were involved with knowing a lot about um, this environment they didn't really do anything for three years and I want you to know that when children or people are in a, in a, in a bad situation to not give up on them and um, by the grace of God um, we um, one day my uh, my sister she went to school with a black eye and um, the teacher asked what happened and then my other sister kind of told them it was like we were too afraid to speak up for ourselves but one of my sisters finally had the guts to do it and she just told them what had happened and uh, child protective services intervened and they uh, they took us out of that environment and so we all had to live kind of separately. I lived with my aunt and my sisters lived with my grandma and my brother lived with my grandma as well. Um, 
and um, so for a year we were just uh, we were separated for that time and my dad actually came back into our life and um, I did you know my prayer was answered like I was like wow like the Lord was working in his life well and I didn't I didn't know you know he's working on his behalf well I was praying for him to come back and he did and he's like and I remember him hugging me and he said for the first time he's like I've been waiting for this moment you know for so long and um, my dad's like I'm gonna get you guys out of here we're gonna we're gonna live together um, and so for a year we did have to uh, get some counseling as well and uh, do some healing um, and um, I so I lived with my aunt she helped me a lot with my schooling as well and um, she prayed a lot for me you know and um, and I also want to point out that spiritual you know warfare is very powerful because I want to point out you know while I lived with her I would wake up with scratches on my face things like that and you know she had cats that people would say oh it would be from that I said no it's not she would pray for me for it to go away and it completely was gone I just want you to know when you're in a toxic or a bad environment um, that it does open doors um, and so uh, just to be aware of that is, you know and that the Lord he's got your back um, I also wanted to point out you know where we lived it wasn't very uh, safe so I remember a lot of times where I would go across the street or uh, the Holy Spirit would be like no don't be here like you need to leave so a lot of things where the Lord has intervened and protected me and so I just want you to know that uh, Jesus does answer prayers and after living with my aunt for a long time and um, thanks to her I was able to um, succeed a lot in my education and improve tremendously I remember her saying um, she had got me tested um, at school because she thought maybe I had a mental disability and she and they said no she doesn't it was just because I didn't know and so she said oh I'm so sorry and so like it's okay you know and so um and so once we finally my siblings and I lived with my dad um things were better um of course we have still even to this day have a lot of healing to do um we um out of that environment um, we didn't talk to our mom for about five years because um, we were just living our life in high school things like that um, and I graduated high school and then um, by the grace of God I also just got my bachelor's in, in early childhood education so to help kids and so education is very important to me um, I guess the the moral of the story is that no matter what you're going through is to never give up um, and through that situation you know for me I had neither of my parents really that's what it felt like and Jesus took on that role as my parent he took on the role that they couldn't fulfill at the time he was both my mother and my father been protecting me in so many more ways than I can count um, and because of him, he's protect, shielded me from so much. Because of him, this is where I, I am. I've come a long way. Um, just looking back, it's like, wow, I cannot believe how far we've come. I'm, we're a team, you know, him and I. I feel like we're the best team ever, and he's my best friend. And I truly wouldn't be where I am without him. And also, I wanted to add, uh, lastly, that if, um, if you identify with any of these things, such as, you know, being in a unhealthy home environment, um, maybe feeling hopeless or, um, or just like this is never going to end or whatever you may be going through, I just want you to know that Jesus loves you, um, that he wants you to reach out to him and to help you through whatever you're going through. He is that light at the end of the tunnel. He will help you through it. It's only temporary. I also wanted to add, not only does he, uh, do I know that he loves me so much, but he loves my family just as much, if not more. They are also his children, and I've seen him turn their lives around and just um, build their relationship with him as well. And so it's, he wants to work in you, but he also wants to work in your family and um, just everything because he is love.